A special thanks goes out to my wife for this video. She is the one who purchased this mini PC for me to review. This mini PC is the Kamari GK3 Plus N95. It comes shipped with the Intel N95 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 gigabytes of storage. My wife bought it right before Prime Day as a lightning deal, along with a $30 coupon for a total of $140 before taxes. For a machine that was released this year, that really isn't that bad, and as of this recording, it comes in around that price with the coupon. It comes with the user's manual, 12 volt power supply, small VESA mount, screws, and an HDMI cable. As previously stated, the GK3 Plus comes with the recently released Intel N95 processor, built on Intel 7 lithography, advertised here up to 3.4 GHz. The 8GB of RAM is DDR4, and the 256GB SSD is M.2, but it is still SATA. On the front there is a space with only a light bar that is blue when powered on and red when sleeping. Along one of the sides we have a single VGA connector, one of three display connections on this tiny machine. On the opposing side we find one USB 2 port, two USB 3 ports, as well as a clicky power button. Around back we have a spot for a Kensington lock, combo mic headphone jack, gigabit ethernet, two HDMI connections capable of 4K, another USB 2 port, and DC input jack. Above that you can see the latch to take the top cover off, and this is the first machine like this I've received with the restraining screw in place. Later we'll take that out and look inside. Ventilation is provided by a small fan on the CPU as seen from the bottom, along with some vents and chrome painted plastic vents on the top. The machine is further configured with dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.2, and Windows 11 Pro. Taking the top cover off reveals a spot for a 2.5 inch SSD or hard drive, and under that is a removal SODIM module. This should be able to be upgraded to 16 gigabytes according to the specs and other configurations of this machine. That is actually a feature that I really like. Getting into this further though required taking off the feet taking four screws out, then back on the inside another three. Not much exciting on the inside other than the 256 gigabyte SATA SSD. Good to know you can replace it, but it does take some effort to get down to that level. Back together it comes with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed. Setup is simple, allowing for a local account with no network connected. I can't really see anything off with this, but there is that lack of requiring administrator acknowledgement running programs that need that level of privilege. The speed of the SSD is about what I'd expect for a SATA one. YouTube playback actually looked pretty good. This is where I was surprised it only dropped a few frames out of 7000 or so of my 4K 60p test video. With that, I think that any 4K or Full HD video playback will probably be okay. Benchmarks looked pretty good. Here it is with the other Intel Celeron based mini PCs I've tested. There is a marked performance increase with this generation of processor over the previous, but as you can see with this machine, even the Mini S with its N95 performed a little better. The BIOS is pretty open, and this machine lacks a visible reset button, so unless you want to tear down or remove the CMOS battery, you probably don't want to mess with it too much if you don't know what you're doing. Temperatures reached 80 degrees during a Cinebench 23 run, with the ambient temperature around 23 Celsius. Power idled down around 8 watts in Windows and Linux, and during a Cinebench run it maxed out at 20 watts. You may have noticed an omission of playing Super Mario widescreen. Indeed it is missing from this review. Let me know in the comments if you've missed it. Overall, this little mini PC doesn't look much different on the outside compared to the GK3, but does provide more computing power under the hood. I've not looked at the previous generations, 
but the SODIM slot is a nice addition to machines of this size. That about wraps things up. What do you think of the new N95 based machines? Would you like to try one of them out? If so, is that because of the price or the low power draw? Let me know, or just comment super in the comments below, and I'll know you've made it this far. Until next time, I'm Good Monkey. Thanks for watching. I hope that it wasn't terrible.